Heather's state of mind and body is a serious concern. But it's time for the Unbreakables to face their next challenge. So you've experienced some of the natural hazards here, the snow, the wet, the cold, the ice. But let's not forget that the Norwegian School of Winter Warfare is a combat unit. And now you are about to experience one of the cruelest weapons that man has devised, gas. This timed challenge tests a soldier's ability to withstand a gas attack. Inhaling CS gas causes a suffocating sensation that leads to choking and vomiting. The masked run disorientates them. The sweat they generate will make the gas work more effectively and they will be breathing more heavily, forcing them to inhale more. All right, well, welcome into the gas tent. First one starts here, takes the mask off, it presents to me with a name, age, where he or she comes from, and then uh, we'll see if we can uh, add some additional questions to it. Former boy band member Barnaby is first to remove his gas mask. Mask off, Barnaby. So, Fuck. is this gas affecting you? Yes, it is. How do you feel oh, it? It really hurts. What was the presentation? What was the what? The presentation. So Barnaby Race, 22, London. OK. Do you feel it burning down your yes, throat now? Yes, yes. eyes, OK. Yeah. And then what, fuck what's this. The, yeah, what's the plan for the summer holidays? I don't give a fuck, I want to get out. You just want to get yeah. out? Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> why are we laughing? We're about to go through the That's, That's, That's why you laugh, because it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Barnaby withstands the gas for 32 seconds. Oh, my God. It's not cool at all. It really hurts. Matt aced the ice hole and last night's bivouac build. Can he deal with choking gas? Mask off, Matt. Matt. Are, you, are you feeling this gas affecting Yeah, Matt you? Taylor, 23, Gloucestershire. 20, 23, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, OK. OK. So what's your favourite soccer team? I uh, don't care about soccer. You don't care about soccer? No, Very I, good. I, I, I like to uh, go. You, to... you want to go out? OK. <laughs> Very well. How are you feeling? Wow, that wasn't very nice. It wasn't very nice. I was being, I was burning for it. Um, yeah. I can feel it through. <coughs> it's a disappointing performance from Matt. Just 22 seconds. Can Angus hold out longer? Angus Marsco. Angus Morrison, Les Mahego, 27 years old. 27 years old. Yeah. What's your favourite pastime? I like skiing. You like skiing? I hear you're a yeah. ski crosser, aren't you? Yeah. What is your favourite soccer team then? Uh, Manchester you know? United. You're an athlete, so can I go you, can, you can go up then. How are you feeling? It's like breathing in pepper. At 39 seconds, Anger sets the target to beat. <laughs> Woo! Carla can manage just 20 seconds. Dave, 23 seconds, and Heather, 25 seconds. A decent effort, considering her earlier state of mind. Ooh, it's not nice in there, eh? Fraser is last up. As the oldest unbreakable, he feels he has much to prove. I'm 44 years old, and I want to put that wisdom and physical shape into action. I won't struggle going up against competitors half my age, because I have the right aptitude and fitness level to compete against them. Can Fraser hold out now and achieve his goal? Fraser, mask off. Fraser Harold, formerly from Liverpool, now living in North Wales. OK, what's your favourite hobby? Uh, cycling. Cycling, very good. I like cycling too. Are you a road cyclist? I am a road cyclist. Oh, too bad, cos I like mountain biking. OK, well, what's I like mountain biking as well. Yeah, other sports are your favourite soccer team? Uh, Liverpool FC. Oh, yeah, Liverpool, because of your hometown. Yes, indeed. Yeah, OK. Have you tried this gas in a, in a riot in Liverpool ever? I've never tried it no. at all. Is it affecting you? 
it's affected me in the throat and the eyes. In the eyes, yeah, I see your eyes, you're crying. How do you feel about uh, soon coming out in the fresh air? I stayed. You gotta stay in. Oh, you're stubborn. I, I hear you've been doing it in some Iron Man. You've been too white. You want to go out? Go to your back. Unlike Angus, Fraser pushes himself to the limit and wins the challenge with 59 seconds. <coughs> Did you stay longer? No, no, that was it then. I was going to burst a hole through the sense. <laughs> <laughs> Do you try and stay as long as you could? Yes. You're crazy, man. The test is completed and all seven unbreakables are still standing. No one has lasted a minute, but can the original unbreakable, Benedict Allen, show them how it should be done? OK, Benedict, mask off. What's your name and your age and your hometown? Uh, my name is Benedict Allen. I'm from Bristol. Uh, my age is 48. You're 48, yeah. And how does a 48-year-old talk with this gas? Well, not all that well. Uh, feeling it now attacking my throat, beginning to attack my eyes, beginning to burn my th throat. It's stopping me uh, talking very easily. Do you feel the urge of rushing outside to get some fresh air? Not quite yet, but I'm getting towards that moment. You're getting moment. towards it, yeah. <laughs> Does it remind you of anything similar? Have you ever experienced anything that reminds you of this? Uh, when I've been drowning, uh, and my canoe has capsized, I've been fighting for breath. Starting to feel that now. One minute, eight seconds. One minute, eight seconds. You're doing quite well there, Benedict. No Thank you very you much. We should wander about in the tent and see how it looks. Well, I'm quite happy actually. You're quite happy standing yes, where you are. Standing where I am, I'm quite aware of this gas <laughs> being all around me, trying to sort of get me. You're doing well. You're doing well above the average. You think I should fire out another pill? I don't think you should. You don't think I should? I think it's quite enough here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, the gas is. Uh... That's a bit unfair. You're waffling it. Is it unfair? Do you feel it? Is it stronger when I wave it at you? It is. It is, okay. Benedict shows immense resolve and smashes the three-minute mark. Thanks for coming camping with me. Well, it's been great. We're going to have to do it again one day in less foggy conditions. <laughs> I'll make a smart, orderly exit like an Englishman. <laughs> yeah, you are. OK, thanks a, a lot. Well, thanks a lot for popping out. 